myself Take me right back to the start Good afternoon, MML. This is Benny Buffon here, and um, it's time for another um, show on the road to the playoffs. And um, th this video, we're going to see the SCC slash WFC, and we're going to discuss um, which two teams we think will make the playoffs. So um, let's first of all have a look at the leaderboard. There it is. Now, I'm trying to remember who I tipped to be in the top two. Now, I know I went for the Lost Pumas, and I think I went for the Woodchippers as well. Cannot actually remember which way I did it, um, but that's, I'm sure, what I did. As you can see, the the, um, the Woodchippers won four, lost one, um, and they're sitting pretty at the top with the Slanciers next, and then Rodentia Ad Nauseam and Lost Pumas, and then Hoplet, the uh, Halflings. Um, so, this one... Let's have a look at what we've got here. So, for instance, the wood chippers then. So they're on 12 points, and they can get a maximum of 18 points. They've got two games left. They've got Los Pumas next, what won't be an easy game. And then they've got Petrudi. Well, I expect them to definitely win that game. Um, so I, I'm really confident the wood chippers will go as predicted. They will make the playoffs. Um, I could see them beating the, the Pumas as well. Um, or at least getting a draw. And, you know, the... the, the They've got enough of a bumper of three points between them and NTB's Rats, who absolutely got murdered by the Pharaohs. So um, they're, they're reeling after that game. So I think with the Los Pumas, that'll be tricky, but I think if there's one of these teams what could have certainly beat the Los Pumas at the beginning of the season, it was the Woodchippers. And um, I won't hear of defeat against Petridi. I don't think he'll... Well, he shouldn't lose that game unless he gets pitch cleared. So... Um, I'm really confident the Woodchippers can get it done. Um, Slan Caesar in second place. They actually played the Chippers this week, if I do remember. They lost to the Chippers. I'll just go to the schedule and just quickly have a look. So Pumas won 3 1. The Pharaohs won 2 0. Uh, Petridi drew with Hoplet 2 2. Uh, they did kill a tree that day game as well. And Hoplet scored a 1 10 on 10 16 there. Um, and the Woodchippers won 2 0 as well. So, yeah, so the Slan Caesars, uh, their last two games are going to be. Um, they battered uh, with Densha Ad Nauseam and uh, then they've got the uh, the Bangle Pharaohs um, it's a tricky one this because um, when, when I was looking at the Slancies I was looking right, what, how, how are we going to decipher can they make the playoffs or not so we look at, we, I, I always look at the coach is the coach a good coach he's a very good coach so give him a tick for that he's digging, then again against Ad Nauseam who actually suckered me um, early saying oh no this is a rebuilding season we won't be there we should rebuild and I, I, I believed him why did I believe a rat coach I don't know and he's had a great season it's only the last game where it, it just went horribly wrong for him um, could just Joe Fraud beat the Nauseam I think they could I do I think they could and then they finish off with the, the Bengal Pharaohs who have been very disappointing all season until they pulled out that win um, this week the win that Gio wanted more than anything um, and they do have a strength for ball carrier. But again, uh, one thing Kemri have a problem with is, is keep, if the ball goes on the floor, they're not always, you know, going to pick the ball up. And Kislev are very good at getting the ball loose. So I think Joe has got a very, very good chance. Um, and if he can beat at Rodentia um, and Woodchippers get something from Pumas, I think that'll be enough to get him through to the playoffs. So I think, you know, it, you know, they've got a really good chance. Um, they're on 10 points, so they're a point clear of the Reds at the moment. Um, potential of 16 points. If they get 16 points, they obviously they make the playoffs. But again, the Slancy is looking good. Uh, Redentra had nausea. Well, they're, they're, in a, they're in a bit of a um, bit of trouble because uh, they, they took a beating. I'll just see if I can show you when I say beating. I mean, I don't know if he's actually sacked them or he's kept them or what. Let's see if I can... Have a look. There we go. So Kid Twist is out. Um, I think he's got agility too now. Uh, Brantavirus, obviously, he lost his agility. Dermatitis, I don't know what happened to him. And Shingles is out. So what they got left? They've still got enough 
to get the job done, especially with these guys, especially, especially as they sprint dash, and they've still got the killer. So it's not, how can I put it, their season ain't over, it's just a lot harder this week. Um, but they will get like inducements, what will help. So you know what, the rats could, I, I could see the rats beating the seas. now looking at that. Anyway, we don't should know Jim, so they've got the Slant Seas and then they got Valensons last week. I think they'll beat the Valensons. I don't think they'll have a problem with the Valensons, I think. I think, you know, and they'll probably get inducements as well against the Valensons. I think they can get it done there. So I think, although it was a bad week, uh, but a lot of the team got busted, I still think they've got a good chance. Um, Los Pumas, they go against the top of the table, the Trippers. And then they play against the Halflings, who lost a tree this week. He got killed, I think, by Petridis and Egil. Um Interesting. I don't know how I want to look at this. I think if they can win their, their first game of the two, they'll have enough in the locker to get a positive result against the, the Flings. Um, but it's going to be tough against the Woodchippers, I think. Um, Laser Smith's going to have to have a good game, I think, to be the Woodchippers. Then again, you know, the Woodchippers are only lost was when they got just basically got absolutely almost pitch cleared. So if, if the if Lost Pumas could do that to the Wood Elves, then who knows? Um, I think they'll, they'll. I mean, I don't like going against Tori with his halfling because they do them amazing, and they will get a lot of inducements against the Lost Pumas. But I think Lost Pumas, if 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 they come down to the last game, and they need to win to make the playoffs. I think they'll definitely beat the Flings. And if they don't, well, then they don't deserve to get to the playoffs, obviously. Um, so, yeah, they, they, they're obviously on eight points, and the maximum they can get is 14 points. It, it's still very, very close. Um, even, even the Flings can sort of make it as well. They're on seven points, and they can get to a maximum of 13 points. They've played the Valen Suns, and they could, they could do well there. And then they've got Plus Pumas. So, you know, if anybody can get two wins out of two, it's going to be Tora. Um, you know, he was an excellent coach with, with anything he plays, really. Um, but obviously, you know, Maximin gets 13 points. Everybody else really up front is going to have to... Re up, up further in the table going to have to really mess up, I think, to uh, to um, get them into the playoffs. But again, he's been consistent again. Shame he lost the tree, but hey, it's blood ball. These things happen, sadly. Um, so, yeah. So, the way I'm looking at this is I, I'm almost saying the Woodchippers will make the playoffs. Uh, they've been the most consistent team in the playoffs. It now becomes very tough to who I think will get second because Slancy is in the driving driving seat. Because I think they, they may be able to beat the Pharaohs, although I'm not too confident. But Nauseam, with them two one-turners and inducements, I think might do them over. But then again, I was really put off the way NTB opened his drive against the Pharaohs with his Rao Girl was extremely risky. Um, and then you've got Los Pumas, who I would be confident with, but I can't see them beat the Chippers. So it really is a messy, messy... I don't really have any confidence of picking anything to come second because I think two, three, and four could all get it done. I, I really do believe the Wood Chippers will get it done. Even if they get beat first uh, the first uh, week six against Los Pumas, I still think they'll get the win in the last week to put them on 15 points, what I think will be enough. Who's going to get second, though? I'm going to have a look at the Slanciers. I was going to have a look at all the teams at the end of it, but I need to have a look at what the Slanciers are bringing to the party. Yeah. It's a decent team. It's got strength. It's got agility. Is it as good as the Rats? They've only, they haven't got any... They've only got two Mighty Blow as well. I suppose a Blitter Ted can still do damage. I, I'm, I'm going to... Oh, God. This is really tough. Okay. The Woodchippers will make the playoffs and I think they'll probably end up top seed of, of, of this division sorry 
finish top. And I'm going to go with Redentia at Nauseam to finish second. I think with the Jewsmans and the Wizard, they will beat the Slanciers. Um, and then they go into the last game, what will be against Valensons, and I do not see them losing that at all. Um, so I'm going to go Rodantia and Nauseam to join the Woodchippers um, in the playoffs. Um, Petridi, um, and to a slight extent Valensons, they need to pick a point, especially Petridi because they've got a they're obviously fight for relegation. Um, Petridi is only on two points. There's three teams below him. There's the Breckos on zero points, and the Wee Men and the Beast Boys are on one point each. Um, Valensons are on four, so that might be enough, you'd think. Um, and even the Bangal Pharaohs are on four points, so they're not totally safe either, are they? And the Bangal Pharaohs have got Putridi and the Slant Seas next. So that next next week, Putridi versus Bangal Pharaohs is huge. Petridi need to get it done there, I think, because after that, the Petridi play the Woodchippers, and that will be the biggest shock of the season for me. And that's not giving any hate to the Nagel, because I love Nagel. I'm a Nagel player myself. Um, it's just the way the Woodchippers play. Um, so, yeah, I think Petridi really need this win. I think, the, I think anyone on four points is probably going to be safe. So, I think we'll really look at Petridi to try and get himself... A win if he can beat the Pharaohs, he'll be safe for the season for sure. Um, so that anyway, let's have a quick look at the teams then before we end the uh the broadcast. Um, season four ML Pro Champions really fans of the Pumas to win it all this season, I think. Um, things haven't gone quite well, um, but again, still a decent team. Agility four, mighty blow tackle, strength for blitzer there could become a potentially be a useful player, mighty blow there. Um, solid blitzers, really. Rick Hans missing this game is only Lamb and though Paul Harrison and there's a lot of them Arsenal players um, Henry Glass a lot of football players really um, Liz Smith's the key isn't he he's the guy who gets it done and a nice ogre with block there so it's a solid team it's a very solid team um, coached by a very good coach as well so um, regardless of what happens this season obviously he'll be back fighting to try and get the playoffs next season I just I feel he's got to beat the Woodchippers this week if he does he's got a chance because I can certainly see him being the flings but uh, I think it's a really really close game I just don't see Rodan Chad Nauseam losing their their two games I think they'll get some from the Sears at least so uh, we'll, we'll see this is the thing about Blue but I'm just guessing this is why I wish I had the coin I was looking to say well actually Betty, no no this this will happen or that might happen um, but one thing for sure, Pumas have got a very good team. Now, Rodentia and the Nosium would be interesting to see who they bring in next season because they will bring somebody in. Um, obviously, Brantavirus is... That's a massive blow. He's going to be sacked. You can't keep him. Well, you can keep him for this season, but you'd think he's going to end up going. You know, Agility 3, gut runner? Nah. Especially when you've got two of those. Ziz Sprint Dash, very impressive. Gets it done. Like the postman, he always delivers. Um, a Strength 3, gut runner with Wrestle. Probably get Tackle next. That's a nice piece. And Stantavirus as well. So, you know... The Survivors clan just like to get movement up, don't they? Uh, Ekuch, who is obviously going to... I think he's a guy who's supposed to be retiring and we expect to retire, but hasn't yet. He's going to be fighting next game and he's going to be a huge um, asset to what's left of this bad team against Slanciers. Um, also, they've got a kicker still. Uh, and <laughs> Chick Chukka Oguana. Oh, Ugu oh, I can't pronounce that. He's a thrower. Yeah, you know. But he's going to have inducements, and I think he'll get a wizard and maybe something else. So, I, you know, it'd be interesting to see what he does. And the rat ogre can't get him in trouble this week, so that's good. So, the trees, um, the hoppet, the halflings, kill that. Only one tree left. What is it with Nagel this season, killing stuff? Um, and the thing is, as well, his other tree's missing the game. Jesus. So, he has no trees. So, the only way he's going to get a tree this week is if he has a. Um, What's the word if he gets mech trees? I'll be fun. Who's he against this week? Do we know? Let's have a look. Val and Sons of the Sons. What a great chance to, you know, get a win against the Flings. Uh, and his blockers. Oh my god, they got absolutely mullered. Least polo carrots there. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. Um, I haven't looked at what he's got in the farm. But I'm pretty sure he'll probably be looking for a decent tree if he can. Um, to go over this tree but uh, yeah that is um, yeah that's a bit of a shame there's not really much more you can say about this team apart from obviously Paul Carrot is, is the man um, uh, and obviously Tuck's pretty decent but he's now been smashed 
Hopefully it's just a uh, MNG, but we'll have a look. Yeah, just a pinch nerve. He'll be back next week. Um, so yeah, you know, I think looking at that now, oh man, the Elves really should win this next game, but I'd never, it wouldn't surprise me if Troy can pull a rabbit out of his hat. The slant sees then. So he sits himself in second place. If he could have just got to draw something against the woodchippers, he would look so much better. Um, it's a nice team again. I mean, this bear's beautiful. Look at these catches. Catches are really, really good. Actually, three. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. But he has got guards. So he'll probably keep him. Um, and obviously, Jackie Slant can get the ball loose very nicely. Actually, four. Wrestle, tackle, strip ball. Oh, my. He's a nice piece. Um, the only issue I've got this week is... Uh, the week coming up is that he's going to be getting inducements to rats what is the worst team to give inducements to them and wood elves but um his team's very good very very good um and you know he's he's probably thinking you know what if i can get a draw against the end uh, the, the rats and then get a, a decent result next week that might be enough to get to the playoffs um, but yeah, I think number five, Jackie Slan, is very key. And obviously, lots of hugging bear. He's the guy, he's the enforcer who holds the, the middle together. So um, yeah, very good coach as well as Joe Fro. Right, the Woodchippers then. This team's very, very, very impressive. Last season won the uh, the Challenge uh, Cup. And um, wow, they're just, they're just as good this season. Only the one loss, and that was a brutal way. I think yeah, almost everything got taken off. He's lost pieces, but he's such a good coach. He just keep, keeps going on and on and on. Um, obviously, Sparrow. I think he's killed three players, I think, this season. Or is it two? Um, very deadly player. I love this guy. While he's on the pitch, I'm always excited. Um, he's one of those players, a bit like maybe Mad Frankie Fraser in my, in my team, that you've always got eyes on what he's doing. You know, he never feels safe when the patrol in that area and thinking, right, I've got to keep my eye on him, try and get take him out. And, and that's what Sparrow does bring to the table. His strength four as well. He can leap in. He's got might blow. He's got attack. He's got jug so he doesn't, you know, get stuck on anything. Um, what's, what's not a bad choice. So, you know, he's, he's a decent guy. I think he's just minus one movement. See if there's any other injuries on this guy. No, just a minus one. So, he, he, he can, you can do that. You've got catchers who can do the job. Um, tree, muffin... Apparently a lot of people like the muffin. Is he the new buttons? Answers on a postcard. Um, block is good though. Jump up. Got to love jump up. Um, he's lost some players. But he's, a, he's just a great coach. He knows what he's doing, doesn't he? Um, streams on AB6. So he, he's win. He's just like a death win to happen. But while he's here, he can win games. Um, Otter's obviously just a llama. But he's a Jilly 5. He's leap as well. I really do not like the block on this he's making this guy into a ball handler so he's probably saying Ben look I'm just going to jump over the top and I'm on a two plus and get it done but leap <sighs> yeah I guess but if you're going to take leap I'd have gone wrestle but then again I wouldn't have took show hands so he's obviously going to make him into his ball carrier and he's going to make sure that no one could call him defensive because he'll just blitz the first one in the column out the way and then just leap off the other one but um yeah it is what it is. But he likes leap, you know. What can I say? He's got three leapers, so, you know. <laughs> you know, it's not terrible. Um, and obviously the catchers is trying to rebuild. He's got a, he's got a kicker as well. The three guard piece as well was very, very good. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident that he will make the playoffs. But Trudy desperately need some sort of win. They must have been gutted when they played the flings. 2-1 up. 10-16, please don't score a one-turner, and that will make sure my pro playoff status is safe. And what did Tory do with Mr. Polo? Went and scored to make it 2-2. Um, but he does have a chance this week, doesn't he, to um, try and make the, his position in the pros safe when he takes on the Bengal Pharaohs. Um, number two, very good. He's, a, he's their killer, he's a Nagel warrior. Um... Number three, be interested to see what he gives him next. He could go claw again with that guy, maybe. Um, obviously, peak oh, I can't pronounce that. Pygra, maybe, number six. He's agility four. I think what this team is lacking is, is, is a, I hate calling them killers, but an enforcer, maybe. A pestigore enforcer. Because I'm having number two with it, but he's, he's very slow and he, he'll be stuck in the middle. 
Um, I think this team is missing that that killer like a, a Mad Frankie Fraser, a Smashing Pumpkins sort of mold. You know, a guy who sits round the back and just picks them off. Um, guard as well is the other major problem. Obviously, with this guy now getting a. Let's have a look. What's he got? Yeah, he's just been next game, so he's got guardians, movements, so that's good. Um, they've got a bit of quality, reminds me a bit like uh, early days Weeping Widowmakers. They've got some agility there, so they've got ball handling, so they can go down that route for sure. Um, and obviously, if he's got speed as well, that's good. Um, but yeah, guard, uh, guard and enforcer, they're desperately lacking an enforcer. Because even if they give them a three claw, uh, what would still be good? They, 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 they're only moving four, so they're going to be, like say, stuck in the middle, and they can beat up whatever's in the middle. But without the guard to help them um, against bigger bashy teams with guard, that's going to be a problem. Um, but they need that enforcer or some sort of frenzy piece just to make it scary for people to go down the flank. But uh, yeah, they, they desperately need a win. And um, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll get taught a lesson next week with all the uh, all the high strength and having no guard themselves. Apart from the guy, this guy was missing. Might um, make... Um, Brazov aware that hey man I do need some guard in this team uh, the Bangle Pharaohs Geo not a good I thought he was about a better season but hey, it is what it is um, but a great result for him um, last week against the Rats and this is a good team five mighty blow that'll cause carnage against anybody he's got all that guard he's got a a Jilly 4 thrower um, agility three blitz rat. I thought he. I thought. I think I got that mixed up. I thought he had a strength four ball carry as well, but he doesn't. So that makes me even like the uh, the Slancy's more in their matchup now. It's a good team. It's a really good team. Um, hundred and twenty k in the bank as well. So you know he's probably think. I'd mean, be interested to see what he brings in. Really, is is. I don't know what you're bringing, unless he's got a really tasty Tomb Guardian, but you always feel a bit, oh, do I really want to bring a Guardian in when I've got four decent ones already? Um, he's got an Enforcer in Billy Mick with his uh, Mighty Blow Tackle piling on. Uh, Skelethor's a bit of a funny one, isn't he? Don't think I like him. Agility 3 is not much good, is it, really? He's not there to carry the ball. I think it's a bit bloat that I think I'd probably swap seven for an enforcer so then you've got two we might blow and tackle but that's just me I guess um but yeah it, it's 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 a good team and obviously the uh more combat and the four tomb guardians they're they're the strength of this team and um, he's got a nice backup throw rare as well what's always good and adds a bit more speed I like that he's got his kicker he's got some fend I love fend on these AB7 pieces I think that's a really smart play from him there um only two re-rolls though. What's the concern? I've had to go with two re-rolls this season as well. Well, that's because I've been forced to. Will he eventually maybe try and get another re-roll? Or will he get a leader on this thrower? That's interesting. But yeah, very good team. Great guy. Hope he does well. Um, and finally, the Valensons. <laughs> the team. When I think of Professor Rex, I think of Fowling and High Elves. <laughs> that's what I think of when I think of Professor X. Um, I, I saw bits of his last game um, where, if I remember correctly, I'll just double check to make sure I'm not... Oh. Yeah, where he could have beat the Lost Pumas, um, but he went for a risky 4 plus throw and left his, his throw was stranded and he, I don't know if he rolled a double 1 or something, and he dropped the ball. Well, I was surprised because I thought a double 1, if you threw the ball, doesn't make you fumble it, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, that that was a bit tough because they had a good chance of getting something from that game, I thought. But hey, it didn't happen, and that's and that's that's just a crying shame for himself. Looking at the team though, I mean, he's got an agility six blitzer with leap. Um, actually, three catches a shame, but again, he's more of an enforcer, I think. Um, he's nice. He's got movement now. Maybe oh God, he's, he's seven seven points behind though, isn't he? Still good though with the speed. Um. Cypriot is alright. Maybe diving tackle next maybe for that guy. It's an alright team, isn't it? But I think... I mean, it's elves. I, don't, I think 2020 is a lot of 
TV for this team. I know he's carrying 30k over blow, so technically he's 90, 90. But I do think it's very bloaty for what it is, if I'm being honest. Um, but again, it's elves, isn't it? Wood elves are terrible for, for bloat as well. But I just, when, when I look at this team, the thing what actually hits me is the bloat of the team. It just looks way too much for 2020. Um, but, you know, on the plus side, he has a few nice pieces. And, um, you know, he might have just done enough to uh, keep in the in the uh, the division. And he's got that precious win. Where did he get that win against? Petridi. So, um, you know, I think he could be there or there bouts in the relegation fight. But I think he'll be safe, to be fair. So, there we go then. That is um, the Road to the Players uh, recap of this division. Um, I, I, I'm going to go with the Wood Chippers and Wood Denture Ad Nauseam just to make the playoffs. Although the Slan Seas and Los Pumas um, have got a great chance to make the playoffs as well. Um, and obviously Petridi, big concern for him is will he get relegated? Um, he can if he if he wins next week, I think he'll I think he'll, he will it will be all right. He'll be on five points. Um, so there we go. Anyway, good luck to everybody in this division. Best of luck. May the best two teams make the playoffs. And good luck for all the teams fighting relegation. It's never nice to see teams relegated, so I hope you all do well there. And don't get relegated. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, see you later. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.